Lawmakers are getting ready for the second half of the session, but first they're updating constituents on the work they've already done. Michael Anthony reports on the lawmakers in District 23. The three elected officials from the new district are fairly new to state politics, but it hasn't stopped them from having a hand in some of the most controversial bills this session. A boy walking into a girl's bathroom has already perpetrated an abusive and intrusive act. Despite being very vocal on his sponsored bill inside the Capitol, Representative Scott Dyke had little to say to the public during the Legislative Review Roundtable. The bill in question, House Bill 1522, prohibits a public school student from using a bathroom that doesn't coincide with their biological sex. Meanwhile, Senator Todd Beard has been working with other legislators on bills that he said would keep sexually explicit material away from children. Beard is a co-sponsor of Senate Bill 2360, which would penalize public entities like schools and libraries if they have any material that is considered sexually explicit. You have a responsibility. If you're going to make this material available, you need to ensure that it's not made available to kids. And there is some pretty graphic stuff out there. Not everyone in the region is on board with these proposals. District 23 Dem NPL Chairwoman Luann Kassler said their time would be better spent on more relevant subjects. I really honestly do not understand where they're coming from with these bills. Like, I can't believe that this is how, how they are spending their, their 80 days when there's so much more they could be doing. The district's other representative, Nico Rios, is a sponsor of House Bill 1213, which would require a court to reimburse a defendant if they are found not guilty of a crime due to self-defense. It narrowly passed the House and faces a steep challenge in the Senate. When asked what is the most important thing to come out of the session this year, Beard said improving mental health funding, Rios said taking care of the oil and gas industry, and Dyke said allowing corporate farming.